In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the cloth modifier to very quickly and easily create a couch cushion, which is very natural and realistic looking. So I already have a box in my scene. I'm creating a new box. I'm going to convert it to edit poly and then give it some geometry just by using the connect tool. That looks good. It's connected in this direction as well like that, and then apply a cloth modifier. Go into object properties, choose the box, that's this box which the cloth has been applied to, and we'll set that object to a cloth and we'll use a preset. Any of these fabric presets will work, but think about what you want it to look like. I'm gonna use silk, so it's kind of a light fabric. Now this pressure setting is the important one. That simulates gas inside of an enclosed object. So it will inflate that box kind of like a balloon. I'm going to set it to somewhere around 2.5. It can go from 0 to 100. Now I want the gravity to be 0 because I want this to just float right now. and just So really all that's going to be affecting it is the pressure setting. So if I hit simulate, that thing will inflate like a balloon, and it'll get these nice wrinkles in it. It's great. You can hit cancel because that's good enough right there. Now what you can do is, let's collapse that down to an edit poly, and from there we can start adding our manual cuts. We'll take this uh, polygon here and we'll just start using the cut tool to add detail. I'm going to add a chop on this pillow because interior designers love to see the chop on your rendered pillows. Sometimes they get kind of weird about it. Anyway, I'm going to put that in because that is fairly realistic. Make sure we're snapping there so that our vertices are all connected. Let's take this. Sorry, this is kind of a boring part. You've seen this before. Let me just get through it, add in some extra geometry. And of course, you can go in and add as much or as little kind of wrinkles as you want or variation to your model. I can even take this, and you could even do this with an FFD modifier, or whatever you want, to add this extra variation in. But it's nice when we're doing it on top of these really natural looking kind of folds that we already got from the cloth modifier. So let's raise that all up like that. Kind of get a little crease in there. Actually, let's make it a little bigger. A little deeper, I should say. Okay, now if I did a turbo smooth on that right now, look kind of like that, which is not bad. All right, there's our natural our wrinkles look working just fine. But we can make it even better I'm going to actually take the turbo smooth off right now. What we can do is actually let's add the turbo smooth now. And there's a lot of different things you can do with this. For example, we can now put an edit poly modifier on it and select this edge here and loop it. And we can do our regular extrusion now. Either in and out, in or out, depending on how you want that to look. Maybe like that. Now let's see what that looks like with the turbo smooth on again. Gives us a little seam there, obviously. 
It's not bad. What we can do though is before we put that turbo smooth on, let's do another cloth modifier. And we'll add objects to it. We'll add that box two. Box two will become inactive and will be just a collision object. Box three, which is our cushion, will become the cloth. Silk again, put the pressure at three, I guess, maybe four. That's something you'll have to tweak and experiment with. Then we'll turn our gravity up to 100 again, negative 100. Default is negative 980, by the way, but I don't want it to fall that quick. So if you simulate this now, it's inflating again, but it's also gonna come and crash down into this, which would be kind of like setting on a couch. So imagine this is a couch. You can set that as a collision object and just sit this cushion right down onto it. Let it simulate for a minute. Didn't get a great simulation there. Let's mess with the settings a little bit. Box three, we'll set it to generic heavy. Set that pressure to two. Let's see what we get. Now, if I had a more powerful computer currently, I would maybe turbo smooth it first and then let it collide because then you get obviously the more tessellation you have the more accurate it's going to get but this looks like it's working pretty well you can cancel it once you have something that you like and then you can just use your animation slider to go back and forth with it right about there is good you can see the nice folds I'm getting now we can put the turbo smooth on We have a pretty nice pillow there. Whoops. So you see we've got our crease still. We have these really natural looking folds. We have a fairly efficient model going on. It's not too high poly. Now we could have added as many uh, custom wrinkles as we want and then still done that cloth modifier and would kind of make it all look more natural. But either way, that cloth modifier is really handy for making these nice natural folds in your fabric and getting a really nice pillow in a really short amount of time. And of course, you can make more pillows and crash them into these ones and make them react with each other, make them react with that couch, make it lean back on the couch, do whatever you want, all using the cloth modifier, just simple settings using the presets. So it's a really cool tool for making things look natural.